move on and uh, I want to go back to a story that I highlighted a few moments ago. And President Uhuru Kenyatta signed into law the county allocation of revenue amendment bill. The move by the president effectively gives the Treasury the green light to disburse at least 77.4 billion shillings to the 47 counties. This comes as a major relief to the county bosses who had, on a number of occasions, accused the Treasury of sabotage. Given the delay in the release of the funds, our Elvis Kasgay is in Eldoret and now speaks to the residents on what some of their priorities are, even as the money is released. El Elvis, uh, good afternoon. Uh, what have you been able to hear from the ground, from the people, and what they want to see um, after this money is disbursed? Thank you very much, Betty. It's a major relief to residents of Wasingishu County because they even feel that President Uhuru Kenyatta should have amended uh, the county allocation revenue bill before the 8th uh, August general election because they feel some projects have stalled here in Wasingishu, including a good number of medical facility that has no drugs in this particular part of the county. They also think that the county bosses who have been involved in borrowing loans from the commercial banks and from any other uh, particular uh, places, uh, it's a major boost to the counties, and they'll now want the county bosses to make sure they complete the project that they had initiated before. Now, Labra Nizia Kuzungumza na Mwamwa Boda Boda tu, weze kutuambia hizi pesa bilioni sabina saba nukutane, Rais Uru Kenyata pale pale alifanya kuwa sheria, na sasa teza kufika katika county. Nini kieze kupatiwa kipa umbele? Na dhani kenye inafawa ipewe kipa umbele ni kwamba infrastructure. Infrastructure ikuwe ni kutia kwanza, mambo ya medical, uh, mambo ya youth, kukumuka youth kwa fund, at least kupea vijana uh, vitu kama pesa, wanzishe projects, uh, waleta vitu kama uh, wa, wa issue vitu kama mapikipiki kwa vijana wenye wana kazi, uh, at least so that vijana wapate kiti wenye wanafanya. Hizi mastima zenye haziku huku, mashinani huku, penye hakuna lights, watuwekea lights. Zile mabarabara zandani zenye hakuingiliki kabisa. At least wajaribu kwa upgrade, hata kama nekumuaga mara, mama kama wanaweza iwekwe, ikuwe lami kwa sababu. Bila barabara kuingia kule ndani ndani, inakuwa ni shida. Hata kama mapikipiki za zingine, wanapo ride na barabara ni mbae ni matope, inakuwa ni shida sana kufika. Wengine wanaanguka, wengine wanaumia. So inakuwa ni challenge. Asante sana. Yeah. Wacha pia nizungumze na hui jamaa labda utuambia wana kuita nani, na nini kingeza kupatio kipa umbele? Mimi kwa machina na itua Ken. Kitu ya kwanza, mimi tuangia kama mwana inji. Kwa sababu isi pesa kulingana kwanza ile sekta ya, ya matipapo. To, to, to call lift kwa sababu watu wengine atuamudu atu, atuwezi umudu ile pesa ambayo tunaenda hospitali za za pinafsi kwa sababu unaenda mahitaji ya kipinafsi inakuwa ni pay kali mno gini sasa kama mimi mkaacho Lorette naambia kavano wetu hizi pesa waje wa invest heavily kwa kwa matipapo so that ile manager ambaye ako achiwezei apate apate hii service kwa at kwa mikono yake ambayo yuko karibu na yeye penye yako okay. yeah. mwisho kabisa acha nimalize nawe okay asante E, jambo la kwanza ni kupongeza serikali kuu kwa sababu ya kuachilia hizi pesa ili ziweze kukuja kufanyika hapa mashinani. Jambo la pili tungeweza kushukuru kwa sababu magavana washa watapokea hizi pesa. Tungependa jambo la kwanza waweze kumaliza hizi migomo za madaktari. Madaktari sa, kila sawa na goma wanasema o oh, magavana wametunyima hii wametunyima hii jambo la kwanza wahakikishe hiyo imeisha ili hali ya matibabu iendelee kikamilifu. Jambo lingine eh, magavana wetu watambue kwamba wana biashara wadogo wadogo tuko hapa. Kama watu wa pikipiki tuko na zile eh, vikundi vikundi yani cooperative society ambazo ziko active wakuja waingilie kati wazi boost kwa sababu vijana sasa hivi wameacha ile ugoigoi wa kawaida wanafanya kazi kwa hivyo kama vijana wameamua kufanya kazi nayo serikali kubali kuwa boost kuwainua ili waweze kujikimu kimaisha Magava na wengine wamekuwa wakifanya kazi hata bila ya hizi pesa kama gavana wa wasinigishu hapa tunampongeza sasa hizi pesa kama zimekuja wacha ziwape motisha na kufanya kazi na zaidi santeni Asante sana. Betty Vard from section of Wasingishu County Residence and they are lauding the president for assenting the county allocation revenue amendment bill and now it's upon the county uh, bosses to make sure they use or they, they use the money uh, to make sure they, those the project that they had initiated before they make sure uh, they oversee up to its completion. Betty. Right. 